Hi, welcome to lisatom.photos. Hello. Today we're going to show you how to be able to get untethered from your camera for long exposures. So some of you might have already had a cable release. So this is the long cable that allows you to be able to plug into the right side of the camera and then you can trip your shutter. The problem with that is the camera can't be used in the rain then and worse, you can't really walk very far from your camera because you're literally tethered to it. So what he's gonna show you today is the OM system, RMWR1. So this particular uh, device enables you to be able to have a wireless remote. It is also weather sealed so you can use it in the rain. You can walk all the way in front so if you wanted to walk over and do some light painting you could. If you wanted to hold a diffuser you could. It comes with the cable release so this wireless cable release and it comes with a cable. So this particular remote is compatible with the OM-1, the OM-1 Mark II, the OM-5 and the TG-7. But if you had an older camera perhaps you have two camera bodies or perhaps you're out in the middle of the desert and your battery goes on your wireless remote you can use this plugged in as an uh, additional way of being able to use it. He's going to show you now how to pair it with your camera. So on the front of the of the remote itself is going to be a switch that is now in the off position. Normally we'd be going to the camera position to be able to use it. If you wanted to use video you could put it in that position. But on the very bottom is a button called connect. So that particular area there is a spring loaded button and when he does the actual pairing he's going to have to hold it in that connect position. So now what he's going to do is he's going to go to the menu on the camera itself He's going to show you that by pressing menu, he's going over to the wrench. So this is the mauve wrench. He's going over to page four and he's going over to wireless shutter setting. He's going to now start pairing. And when he does the pairing, he's holding that remote in that connect position. So he actually has to hold it in there. It'll say pairing in progress and then it's going to say pairing complete. So now your remote is paired and you can walk all around and you can be able to trip your shutter. Now, if you happen to have two cameras and you want to be able to use this sometimes with one camera and another camera, one little trick that you can do is you can actually press menu and you can then put that particular menu item on the my menu. That's a way of kind of having these little shortcuts available. So he pressed the menu item, he pressed the red record button on the top, and then he's registering this on the my menu in our case of number four. The last thing we're going to leave you with is a neat little uh, trick. So this little cable release is very small. So it does come with a little spot on the back where you can thread a lanyard through this. So there's a little hole on the very back. You're going to just thread your lanyard through that. Now you might have a lanyard that's a solid lanyard. Ours happens to be a detachable lanyard. But now he's going to put this on his lanyard. His remote is now going to be always around his neck. He doesn't have to worry about dropping it at night. He doesn't have to worry about which pocket did he put it in. He can walk all over the place to be able to use this to be able to photograph again. Some of the times he might be using this would be to do light painting when he has to walk way over and light paint all of the cars or all of the trees. He also would be using this if he has to walk over and hold a light diffuser to be able to get the light just the way he wants on his subject. So now go out, enjoy, and take some great photos.